Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're doing bridges and boardwalks today. And hopefully, we, get a <laughs> we don't get a delivery mid-race. Uh, I'm expecting a package. And it looks like the expected delivery time is somewhere here in the next half hour or so. So if we're lucky, it arrives before we even take off. If we're unlucky, it arrives mid-race. We shall see. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic week. Looks like we got 22 in the pen. It's a bit of a climby course this. I think it's like 59 meters a lap. It kind of goes up and then it comes down and then it goes up and then it comes down. But to be honest, the pitch isn't enough to make me want to take a climbing kind of rig or an all rounder rig. I see a lot of uh, Tron bikes. We've gone Venge with disc. We'll see how it plays out. So it's been an interesting week. I've been having some issues with my IT band. Kind of sucks. I think it's a leg fatigue thing and positioning. We'll see. We'll see. Took a day off the bike. All that kind of good stuff. See if we could uh, calm it down a bit. It's funny though when you have things going on that you just kind of aggravate other things. Um, so again, we'll see. So I'm just catching up on some YouTube stuff. Hey, Sunflower May, how's it going? So I've been watching some videos, catching up with everybody's races, trying to anyways. Um, like I said, it's just been kind of a busy couple weeks. Uh, for those of you who watched the Saturday stream will have known that that was a little MIA because it's riding season, so we're riding outside. We'll have a new vlog again this week. So it's nice to get back out there. Although, like I said, I have felt like just not as strong as I've been in prior years. Usually I feel super strong, uh, even though I'm typically not. And the, the irony is, is that according to my numbers, I'm fitter, but I just don't feel as good. So we'll see. We'll see how it all sort of plays out. We'll start getting those longer ride in and a bigger number of rides. So it'll be a fun time. Again, I am waiting for a package of delivery, so you will have to excuse me if I do have to <laughs> tally ho, because I don't want to go all the way to the airport. The sad thing is, is that I have to get all the way to the front door. 
in order for things to happen. And these guys don't stick around very long. Half the time they've got the, I've got a friend who works at home during the day and he gets deliveries all the time and half the time they're sticking the thing on the door and they're not even knocking. But again, I don't even want to go to the airport and sadly I have to sign for this. So, but I am excited because they are the Favero pedals for mountain bikes. So pretty excited about that. Get those on the gravel bike and get things going. You know, like two minutes to launch here. I just have this feeling that the moment the flag drops, the front doorbell is going to ring. Knowing my luck. And then it won't even be the delivery driver, it'll just be some random dude. Such is life. But well, we got a good number here, 41. I did notice that the, uh, the bot did not respond. What is going on? Ah, it's going to be one of those days. What can I say? Too late to try to fix it. All right. I can see Peter's here.
Thanks, Lee. I do have potentially delivery coming, so if that happens, I will switch to Peter. Yeah, I don't want to drive to the airport to pick it up. If I miss it. I'm counting on my dog to be the big alert, which probably won't happen. Be the one time he doesn't bark at something. <laughs> that is very truly.
It is. Yeah, he's like 22 seconds up the road, man.
he taking it easy 27 seconds up the road. I think the, the bot's down, Lee, I think. Wasn't working for me earlier. I gotta see what's going on. Yeah, I think it's uh needs rebooted. Delivery. <laughs> False alarm, bud. I'm sure you guys heard that, but wrong guy. Let's uh, There we go. Yeah, well, it's all good. If weather doesn't hold out, you can always do a race again later in the week.
Nicely done, Peter. You're about 40 seconds ahead. Oh. Forty seconds ahead, Peter. Back up to 42, Pete. Forty-four. Nice.
36 seconds, Pete. Oh.
All right, we got a package, so no trip to the airport. Yeah. Power meter pedals. All right, how are we doing, Pete? <laughs> Nicely done. 44 seconds ahead. Last few hundred meters. Cruising in, easy win for Pete. Oh, not necessarily easy.
I didn't realize it was you either, Pete. Whew. Off the front. Until I saw the PT in the, uh, the solo thing. Nicely done, man. Nicely done. Well, as predicted, Delivery would come mid-race. <laughs> it's almost good that the dog gave me that false alarm earlier. Um, Peter's average 3.3. 3.3. 301 watts, 33.30. So, a very good good average you crushed the rest of the field Peter 30 seconds behind but uh, yeah yeah no doubt I will take a well, let's, let's be honest, 37th place for me sometimes, that's even when I'm in the full race. <laughs> so it's all good. It, it's good luck because it, it means like a half hour, 45 minute drive, which I don't feel like doing um, to go pick it up. So, but I am excited. It's, it's, uh, it's super exciting to actually get these. The box is a little... Uh, A little low key, but that's just because they're rolling them out, I think. Or this is potentially a shipping box. So, but I'm definitely glad to get my hands on it, that's for sure. Rather than having to, uh, like I said, make my way all the way out there. Ah, it's just a delivery box. There we go. So there we go. You guys can see it first. So they're the, uh, the Asioma Pro MX. So they are uh, the mountain bike cleats. So pretty excited because these are 
relatively, well, they're brand new to market. So these are some of the, the first sets going out. So pretty excited about that. I have Asioma's on uh, the bike that I have on the trainer for outside. Uh, the SL8 has its own power meter, but this is specifically for the gravel bike. So we'll be doing an unboxing of those later on and get those all set up, which will be exciting because then I can actually um, not have to either make the choice of having power or uh, having the pedals because what I've had to do in the past is uh, basically either make the choice between uh, running road shoes and praying to God that uh, during the gravel ride that uh, it was not going to become a hike and bike. And uh, where I live is mountain bike territory, so there's, there's, we'll ride some technical single track uh, that can get uh, a little out of control, I would say, for a gravel bike. Um, people like Mitch who were, uh, you know, at the national level mountain bikers, uh, he does, he'll, he'll whip through stuff. Me, I'm a little more gingerly through that stuff and I, I don't want to uh, murder myself on road cleats going through uh, technical single track. So uh, the nice thing and always the big advantage of, hey Pookie, uh, basically going with power meter pedals versus something like, like I said, the SL8 has it built into the, uh, the cranks is that you have that consistent measurement throughout. So uh, you, if you swap bikes, you're pretty much getting the same power reading. That power is consistent. I mean, most power meters are plus minus 3% kind of deal, but there is some variance between uh, meters. So uh, what I run on a certain bike might not be the same on this bike, might not be the same as the trainer. So uh, that's why when you look at uh, FTP tests, they're not the end all and be all of things. It's a, it's a range because you may do an FTP, for example, on Zwift, and then you go take it into the real world on a bike with a different power meter than your trainer. And uh, you might be in for a rude awakening or conversely, you might be able to push a little bit harder. So uh, pretty excited to get those going. But uh, well done, Peter. Uh, nice race. Uh, thanks for being in it. It gave everybody something to watch as I, uh, like I said, I knew I was going to have to jump off the bike mid-race here and answer the door. Otherwise, I was driving to the airport. So, but uh, we are going to end things here and uh, call it a day. Uh, like I said, I, I might race this later in the week. Depending on the weather, if I'm not riding outside. Moving forward, uh, Monday is my race day on Zwift. That'll be my stream day. And any other day beyond that will be completely at random based on the weather. And that's really it. Um, so yeah, yeah, as we figure figure things out what we're going to do with the schedule and all that kind of stuff and what we're actually going to do this year in terms of outdoor events and racing and all that kind of stuff. I think you're just safe from upgrade Peter 4-1. The minutes is the boundary. Oh, ho, ho. that's good. Pete can, uh, I don't know what the heck that was verifying. Wow, that was weird. Um, <laughs> uh, well, that's good, because then we can get another week of racing with Peter and he can, uh, he can absolutely trash the group again, which is awesome. Well done, Pete. We will see. I'm not afraid anymore that I would promote, which is good, which is good. But uh, 
I always remember what Lee said to me just prior to upgrade. It's like, enjoy your time while you can uh, before your upgrade. Because then you get put in that thing. But like, I mean, if you take a look at George, George is taking a few weeks and uh, he's settled in and he's doing absolutely phenomenal. Next week is... Let's take a look. I always put it. Uh, London Classic. So last stage, two laps, London Classic, Draft Boost and Ghost. So that will be the, uh, the last one for Lap It Up. I mean, I have no, uh, <laughs> no dreams of GC here. So like I said, we'll see if... Uh, We'll see if we race this a little later on in the week, depending on how the weather is and stuff. So anyways, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Again, apologize for the little interruption in between, but thanks again, Peter, for an absolutely amazing performance. That was awesome to watch. Uh, it, it is very flat. London Classic is very, very flat. All this month has been very, very flat. This has probably been the... Uh, the biggest climby one and this was more of a drag to be honest it wasn't much of a climb so anyways if you haven't done so please do like we will catch you guys next week and until next time see ya